So earlier in the year, I worked to use Photoshop to restore and colour every US president who was only photographed in black and white. I completed this project, uploading a video of them all on this channel, along with a behind the scenes video explaining the process of how I did so. However, I received a comment on that first video which raised a reasonable question and somewhat disrupted my feeling of accomplishment in the process. It was pointed out to me that I had not included David Rice Atchison, who it has been claimed by some had technically been US President, even if it was for only one day. So just to make sure I had covered my bases, I decided to restore and colour David Rice Atchison also. So how could you become US President for only one day? And why is it we consider that America has had, at time of recording, 45 Presidents, and Atchison is not included to make it 46? This entire confusion comes down to the 12th US President, Zachary Taylor. While the previous president, James K. Polk, had ended his term at noon on the 4th of March 1849, the 4th was a Sunday. Incoming president, Zachary Taylor, refused to take the inaugural pledge on the Sabbath, with it being a religious day of rest. Therefore, Taylor's inauguration was moved to the next day, the 5th, causing a window of presidential confusion, which for some, Atchison automatically filled as acting president. Atchison's possible claim to the presidency came down to him being the elected president pro tempore at the time. The job of the president pro tempore is to act as president if both the president and vice president are not available to fill their duties. The person who fills that role is in essence the vice, vice president. Many of those close to David Rice Atchison therefore argued that for the time between the 4th and 5th of March 1849, with both President James K. Polk and Vice President George M. Dallas having stood down on the 4th, Atchison as President pro tempore would have been the obvious candidate for the job, being third in line for the presidency. However, this argument has one major flaw. David Rice Atchison also ceased to be President pro tempore at the same time that President Polk and Vice President Dallas ended their duties, making Atchison no longer the elected third in line. So who was President on the afternoon of the 4th and morning of the 5th? Most historians and presidential scholars say that it was the incoming president Zachary Taylor, their argument being that taking the pledge of office is in many ways a formality, and if elected president, your term begins automatically at the exact moment when the previous president's time in office ends. However, there is one small window of time where David Rice Atchison may have still been acting president. On the 5th, Atchison was again elected by his peers to be president pro tempore, and this importantly occurred before Zachary Taylor and his Vice President Millard Fillmore took their oaths to be President and Vice President respectively. Therefore, if you do believe that the President must take the inaugurational oath before they officially receive that role, Atchison would have been President pro tempore for a very brief time, minutes, while neither the President nor Vice President were sworn into office yet, making him the de facto Commander-in-Chief for that incredibly brief amount of time between oaths. So is this the face of the true 12th President of the United States? I'd be inclined to say no, as I think the Taylor was always President argument is fairly strong. But it's certainly a fascinating premise, and while that small window of time existed where Atchison was officially re-elected to be third in line, and no first or second in line were yet in place, I certainly don't think the concept of his incredibly incredibly brief acting presidency can be entirely dismissed out of hand. However, I'd be genuinely really interested in what you lot watching this now think. So please let me know in the comments your thoughts on this particular slice of fascinating political history. Also, please let me know any suggestions for future persons or topics you'd like to see me cover on this channel. As you've seen, I do take those suggestions on board. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.